Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have my 2021 gift guide to share with you guys. I asked when you wanted to see this and a lot of you said as soon as possible. So I wanted to get it out to you guys before Black Friday, before all of those sales so that you can get organized and get your gift shopping done early this year. If you're watching this video, you do not have the excuse to go do all your Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. Start now. I have done the hard yards for you guys. In the description, you're going to see so many freaking links because I have found 60 plus gift ideas for you guys and I have found which brands, which websites, which places have the best options or the best deals. I've tried to find multiple options for the same item if you guys are looking for different kind of price points or just different websites. I've got you guys. In this video I do have a list of ideas for him and a list of ideas for her but being completely honest pretty much everything on each list could probably be on the other list. So take the him and her thing with a grain of salt. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. I just wanted to get a variety of ideas out there for you guys. But I'm going to stop talking and we're going to get into this because otherwise we're going to be here forever. Starting off with my gifts for her. The first idea I have for you guys is a weighted blanket. When I asked you guys what the best gift you have ever received is, so many people said a weighted blanket. And I thought this was such a good idea. I have a weighted blanket and I freaking love it. Mine is from Calming Blankets and it looks just like a really trendy throw blanket. It is definitely more on the pricey side, but I have left some more affordable options in the comments below. I feel like weighted blankets in general are just more of a pricey item, but they are something that I think you can keep forever. So I know Koala Comforts does one in a bunch of different colors and the Udi also sells weighted blankets if you didn't know. So I'll leave all those links down below. Another one that came up a lot when I asked you guys what your favorite gift that you've ever received was, is a diffuser and essential oils. And again, I've received one of these as a gift for my birthday one year and I freaked freaking love it. So many places sell these. I know Kmart have a really affordable option. Dusk has a bunch so you can find one that really suits your home aesthetic or the person that you're giving to their home aesthetic. And I found a really beautiful one from Buckley and Phillips. It is more pricey but it is just so stunning. My personal favorite essential oils are lavender and eucalyptus. So if you don't know where to start, those are some really good options. Next we have a tumbler. I have a really beautiful stainless steel one from Wildflower that I'll link down below. It's pink and I freaking love it. It keeps my drinks cold for so long. If you have someone in your life that drinks a lot of iced coffee or just a lot of cold drinks in general, this is such a great idea. I also have one from Zarafas that I love and you could also pair this with a Zarafas gift card if you know that they love their coffee. That is always a perfect gift idea. And I have seen the Starbucks like plastic tumblers everywhere at the moment. You can get them from Amazon. I've linked them down below. I feel like everyone is loving these recently. And so if you have someone who really likes to hop on the trends and also likes to drink iced drinks, this is a great option. Option. Next we have drink bottles. I feel like these are just a really safe option and a really good drink bottle can be something that someone uses every single day. My emotional support water bottle is literally $5 from Kmart and it follows me everywhere I go. This is it. I freaking love her. I've had her for, I don't even know, months and months and months and despite being $5, it has held up so, so well. I've linked this specific one down below but I've also linked the Frank Green one that I've seen popping up everywhere. It's stainless steel. It looks so sleek, so minimal and it has a bunch of different colors. If you have someone in your life who loves to drink tea, T2 is the place to go. They have a huge range of gifts. I'm gonna leave their little like gift section as a link down below, but they have the biggest variety of tea I have ever seen. So I'm sure you can find something that your tea loving friend or family would really enjoy. The next one is kind of basic, but a candle. Obviously there are a lot of really trendy ones out there at the moment that are like the body kind of shapes or the little bubble ones that I think are so cute. There's a really beautiful small business called Girls at Brunch that sell a bunch of different ones that fit into that category. I'll link them down below as well as Fate. They have a really great range of colors, of scents, of sizes. I feel like you can't go wrong with Dusk or Glass House Candles. I feel like Glass House Candles are a huge crowd pleaser. But another brand that I freaking love is Palm Beach Collective. I actually haven't tried their candles, although they do have so many, but I have tried a bunch of their reed diffusers and they are my favorite of all time. If you're looking for a scent and you don't know what to pick, my personal favorite is Lilies and Leather, but they have a bunch of gorgeous scents, so I definitely recommend them as well. Pajamas, I feel like these are such a fun gift. I have some from La Rose and they are so stunning. It's where I got my like bridal and my bridesmaid pajamas from. But yeah, if you want something that's kind of like Peter Alexander, but you don't want to pay the Peter Alexander price, 
price, definitely check out La Rose. But if you do want an affordable option, Kmart has some really cute linen looking pajama sets at the moment and I think they're so stunning and they don't look like they're from Kmart at all. This is a bit of a random one, but if you have any friends or family that really enjoy making TikToks or even just taking photos on their phone, a phone ring light is such a great idea. Kmart has one, Amazon has a bunch of them, I'll leave them linked down below. Claw clips, I feel like these are something that have become super super trendy, especially this year. My favourite ones are from Gabsies. I'll leave her links down below, she's a small Etsy seller and she just has such a huge variety. But I also found some really cute ones on ASOS, I know Glassons has a bunch of them, even Cotton On. If you have someone in your life that is constantly travelling or even just like living out of a bag, maybe they're always switching between their house and their partner's house or something like that, a new makeup bag or a toiletry bag could be such a good option because I feel like it is such a practical gift you might not always purchase it for yourself but you'd really appreciate it as a gift cotton on has some really cute ones and you can personalize them with initials or names to make them a little bit more customized I also found a really cool one on ASOS which is like a flat lay one so it opens completely and lays flat which seems like such a great idea a nice watch I think this is such a great gift if you're like me you probably wear your Apple watch everywhere but recently I picked up a Daniel Wellington watch and I freaking love it if I'm going out for dinner or if I just want to dress my outfit up a little bit more my Apple watch doesn't always make the cut so I really like having just a nicer watch to pair with my nicer outfits a beach umbrella this is perfect if you have any friends or family that love spending time at the beach and I feel like there are some really beautiful ones out there at the moment some more expensive options that are really, really stunning is Business and Pleasure and also the Sunday Supply Co. They are just stunning, but again, definitely more expensive. For some more affordable options, Ganda has some really beautiful beach umbrellas, as well as Kmart. I have one from Kmart and I really love it. It's like navy blue and white, so it's not as cute, but it's definitely very practical. However, I did see that they came out with a white one, which is definitely new, so if you want one that's really cute but way more affordable that is such a good option if someone in your life loves craft paint by numbers can be really fun I also just found out that you can get ones with like customized photos so if you want to get one for just say your mum you can get a paint by numbers which is a photo of you and your mum together and maybe you could paint it together I didn't realize you could customize them but I think this could be a really fun gift idea so I've left some links down below for those the next one is a portable photo printer I personally have a sprocket I've had one for a couple years now and I really like it. I don't think the quality of the photos is absolutely incredible but as someone who just loves to bullet journal and scrapbook it's so nice to be able to print those photos out and stick them wherever I want them. I have left a few links down below of a few different brands because there are so many now. There's a Sprocket which is what I have, there's also an Instax one, a Kodak one, a few different price ranges and I'm not sure about the quality of the other ones. Maybe check out the reviews. If you have someone in your life who loves the gym I feel like a really fun gift idea could be like a matching gym set and also a protein powder or maybe like BCAAs or something like that. If you know if they have a favorite brand, that would work really well. There's some really affordable options at Cotton On Body that are really cute as well, but if you want something a little bit better quality, my favorite brands are Gymshark, Elite 11, and Stax. I feel like they're all absolutely incredible. A bit of a random one, but really nice linen and bed sheets and doona covers and stuff can be such a great gift because it's something that you don't really want to spend your money on but something that you kind of need. I've heard a lot of great things about Brooklinen. I've linked some really cute ones down below. Pillow Talk had a really cute doona cover that I personally loved. I know I Love Linen has a bunch of gingham sheets and gingham like doona covers and stuff that are super popular right now so definitely check those out. Next we have a personalized calendar or stationery or something like that. I really love Steph Pace planners. They have so many great options. Emma Kate Co. sent me some stuff and they have absolutely stunning pieces and also really beautiful packaging. So you probably wouldn't even really have to like gift wrap it because they do such a good job for you. Next we have personalized jewelry. Again with the personalization I feel like people just love it. It makes them feel special and there are so many things you could do with this. One of my favorite jewelry companies is Finer Rings. They have a bunch of different options that you can personalize but one that I saw that was really stunning is just a little like mini dog tag necklace with an initial on it which I just think is so beautiful. Kind of going along the same route we also have personalized phone cases. I feel like these are such a good option. I have a personalized case from Casetify and I freaking love it. This is not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. I just wanted to mention it because I really really love it but I know the Daily Edited also has some really stunning like personalized monogrammed things as well that a lot of people love. Moving on a sunset lamp. I feel like these popped up on TikTok this year and everyone really really loved them. Another option Option, kind of similar is a portable projector. I didn't realize that these were a thing. Like you can literally buy a portable projector and just like take it with you 
somewhere. I feel like if you have a friend who's really into movies and films, this would be such a good idea because they could literally have a projector that they can set up in their bedroom when they have friends over or something. And like, how fun would that be to have like a projector movie screen in your bedroom just whenever you want and then you can just pack it away when you don't use it. Another thing that I've heard a lot about recently are those alarms that wake you up really gently and put you to sleep really gently. So they have like a light that like increases and becomes brighter in the mornings to kind of mimic the sun rising and you know obviously letting in more light and you wake up really gently and then the opposite will happen when you go to sleep. I honestly think this would be such a good gift idea. I feel like if I received this I'd be like wow I would have never thought to purchase this for myself but I really appreciate it. Another really practical but still fun gift idea is just a new purse. Again it's just something that you use every single day so if you received a new one I feel like it would be really really nice. I know that the Naked Vice ones have been everywhere lately. I know that the Mark Jacob's snapshot bags are super super trendy and I know a lot of girls have those on their Christmas wish list so they're definitely a bit more pricey but if you're looking for something more affordable I've left the links for Sports Girl and Cotton On down below because they have some more options that are closer to like $30 to $40 and they have a range of different options as well. Next we have a Gua... I'm gonna say it wrong. Gua Sha. <laughs> gua sha gua sha kit again these have been popping up around the internet everywhere and i think they could be a really fun gift idea especially if you have someone in your life who really loves skincare and next we have a picnic kit so i feel like this could be interpreted so many different ways maybe you want to purchase someone a picnic rug or a little picnic basket or even one of those little tables that have the little like wine glass cutouts that you can take with you i think those are really cute as well if this is a gift for a partner or like your best friend or something you might even want to set up a little like picnic picnic date for them where you bring the snacks or set up a little thing and you might not even have to give them a picnic rug or a picnic blanket but just like the experience of a picnic could be a gift. Another kind of experience gift is any sort of voucher for anything kind of self-care related. Some ideas might be a massage, maybe to get their nails done, but anything that's just self-care related or like spa or something like that I think could be fun. And the last few things on the her list are a couple of DIYs. So the first thing is maybe you could make an piece so I don't know what this will look like for you it totally depends on the person that you're giving this to but one example could just be buying a canvas and painting them something that they can hang up in their house or another example is that you might go to an op shop pick up a vase and then paint it with with paint and baking soda and make it look like those terracotta pieces which I've seen popping up everywhere and you could paint it in the colors that suit their house I think that would be a really affordable but personalized kind of DIY another little DIY situation is a cozy kit so maybe you just grab a box and then you just put a lot of cozy things in it so maybe like a face mask some fluffy socks maybe a mug or some tea or some like hot chocolate or something in there I feel like this could be so cute and potentially very affordable option as well and lastly I think this could be so cute is if you have a friend who really loves reading buy them your favorite book and annotate it before giving it to them so if you have a favorite book you can buy them a copy but you can write little notes in the margins or put little sticky notes in it where your favorite parts are or maybe underline your favorite quotes and then give it to them so that when they're reading it they can see what you thought of it while they're reading it. I just think this is so sweet. Honestly you could just give them your favorite book without annotating it as well. That's also just a really good gift idea. Moving on to the him list. Again take that with a grain of salt. You can do whatever you want with these lists. They're just a bunch of ideas and I'm just trying to give a variety of different ideas. The first idea I have are whiskey glasses or a decanter. I actually bought whiskey glasses for Liam last year I put them in his stocking I got them from typo they actually have the same ones this year so I'll link them down below and he sometimes uses them for alcoholic beverages but he most of the time uses them for his Iceland blacks in the mornings and I think it looks so nice so if you have someone in your life who loves drinking I don't know whiskey or rum or alcohol this could be a really nice idea but even if you have someone in your life who loves drinking coffee this is also a really good idea for that the next one is a beach towel I feel like this is something that maybe a lot of teenage guys or like young adult guys just don't seem to have or if they do have a beach towel it's just so old and so I feel like this is a really really great gift idea if you know that a guy in your life whether it's your brother your partner your cousin I don't know and they just have a really old beach towel get them a new one I linked a couple that are down below that I thought were really nice but I just think this is a very practical but much needed gift idea a very basic one is cologne I feel like it's basic for a reason because it's just such a good idea even when I asked Liam what some of his favorite gift ideas that he's ever received are 
are he said cologne because of course you go through it you use it so even if you get like double ups or if you have more than one it doesn't really matter the next one is a wallet again this is something that I feel like guys just never buy for themselves until they absolutely have to and there are so many guys walking around out there with wallets that are half falling apart or maybe they still use a velcro one if you have someone in your life that still uses a velcro wallet this is the gift idea for them I've linked a few really nice ones down below obviously you can get a more affordable option but there are some nice ones that do like embossing with initials or names that I think are really nice or you could just go a really classic RM Williams route which I feel like guys just froth or at least a lot of them do another very basic option is clothes again some guys just don't buy themselves clothes so Christmas birthdays a really great opportunity to help them kind of update their wardrobe I've listed a few different websites down below that I think sell some really nice guys clothes another idea is a hat I've linked a few hats down below that I think are really nice but obviously choose something that the guy in your life will love if you have someone in your life who loves coffee maybe they're a bit of a coffee snob a really fun idea is to get them some coffee beans or ground coffee beans and a mug I feel like that could be a really cute little gift set if you just go to your local cafe they often sell bags of beans as well and I feel like that's a really lovely way of supporting your local cafe and trying a new brand that maybe you wouldn't pick up in the supermarket or something my dad used to actually do the Merlot subscription and if you haven't checked that out I've linked it down below but it's basically a way that you can try a bunch of different flavors because it's just like a subscription for coffee beans and I've also linked down below the wildflower coffee lovers box which is literally a gift set made for you you don't even have to put really a lot of thought into it you can just purchase that box and it comes with a bunch of things that coffee lovers will probably love the next thing was something that Liam told me that he would love as a gift and it is beer <laughs> obviously you have to keep age in mind with this one but if you have someone in your life who just doesn't really care about gifts or maybe they have everything already and you don't know what to give them beer or wine or their favorite whiskey or their favorite beverage in general is such a good option I also found this little DIY on Pinterest that could be really cute where you kind of make them look like reindeers I thought that was so fun another idea is books obviously on a topic that they find very interesting a lot of guys love sport and investing and there are a lot of books about those sort of things another idea is camping gear if you have someone in your life who really enjoys going on trips going on camping trips this is something that I think they'd really appreciate and if you don't know exactly what gear to get them maybe just get them a voucher to Anaconda or BCF or something like that where they can pick out something for themselves underwear and socks yes kind of boring but again kind of necessary but a way to make this a little bit more fun is you can personalize socks or undies with either a photo of yourself or maybe your family dog or something that they love I don't know it's totally up to you but this could be just a bit of like a joke gift but still practical because they can still use the socks and jocks you know the next idea is a record player or a vinyl if they really love music and don't have a record player that could be a really beautiful gift but if they do have a record player getting them a new vinyl could be a really lovely gift one thing that I found out really recently that I think is super cool is you can get customized vinyls so you can do like your own mixtape and put it on a vinyl I'll link down below where I found that you can do this or well, some places just sell like display vinyls where you can customize it and it looks like a vinyl but it doesn't actually work but it's like a display piece so again if you have someone in your life who really loves music this could be really cute also a really great anniversary gift because if you're gonna make like a mixtape you could put all of your favorite songs on there or songs that mean something to you and your partner or even like your wedding song or your first dance song or something like that I think that could be a really nice gift idea as well next we have a bit more of a sentimental thing and that is a photo album or a scrapbook I just think this is always such a nice idea and again just really sentimental really special there are so many places that do like printed photo books now I'll leave a couple places linked down below but you can pretty much get them done like anywhere I'm pretty sure like Kmart and Big W do them as well so that's a really easy option this is a really random one but I think it's such a good idea and this could be a good idea for anyone I think and it's an electric toothbrush who doesn't want an electric toothbrush if they don't have one I feel like this is such a great gift idea kind of a boring adult thing but I think if I received an electric toothbrush I would love it next we have a Nintendo switch again a bit more pricey a bit more of an expensive item but if you have someone in your life who loves playing video games and stuff and they don't have this it's definitely a good option going along that same tech route is a portable speaker I think this could be a great gift for anyone Liam and I have a JBL speaker and we personally love it but obviously there are so many different brands that sell them what I do love about the JBL ones though is that you can like link them together so if you have multiple JBL speakers or even if you go to a party or someone's house 
and they have a JBL speaker. You can link them all up together and just obviously play the music a little bit louder. And they're all synced, which is so nice. And they're also waterproof, or at least the one we have is waterproof. So that's really fun. You can bring it to the beach, to the pool, and you know it's safe. Next we have lawn games or board games. I honestly think board games are so fun and such a nice way to spend time with someone. And I feel like they can vary in price quite a lot. So you can get a little bit more of an expensive game or a bigger game, but there are also some really small and very affordable card games. If you guys haven't tried Monopoly Deal, definitely get on that. I've linked it down below. It's a card game so you can bring it like anywhere with you and I think it's like five bucks. So it's a perfect stocking stuffer or perfect for the person who seems like they have everything. If they don't have that, it's a really fun game. Next we have a massage gun. A really great idea if you have a gym junkie in your life. I've never tried this so I can't vouch for it but I know they're super popular so this could be a really fun idea as well. I know I mentioned this in the her list but again a watch. Again you could also make it a bit more personalized by engraving some sort of like quote or name or even a date on it if it's an anniversary gift this is a good idea as well next we have a hoodie and not just any hoodie a customized hoodie so I found a link down below of a company that does like personalized embroidery but the thing I've seen going around the internet recently which I think is really nice is getting like your anniversary or your birthday or something I don't know some sort of significant date on the hoodie but in Roman numerals and I think that's so sweet you could also get like matching ones for you and your boyfriend or you and your partner I feel like it like borders on cringy but it's not quite cringy. If you have someone in your life who is obsessed with sport or a particular sports team, something to do with that. Either a jersey for their favorite football team, some sort of merch. You could also do this if you have someone in your life who really loves a certain band or artist or something like that. Again, a little bit random, but still really fun. A Lego set, does that not sound so fun? I feel like if someone gave me a Lego set, I'd genuinely be excited about it. So I feel like this could go for a child or an adult. Obviously, if you have someone in your life who literally loves Lego, this would fit in very well for them. But even if you don't have someone in your life who loves Lego, this could be really fun as like a bonding experience. Like you could get a set for you and your partner to do together as like a date night. That sounds so fun to me. Another idea is an experience. I feel like these are always such a great idea. If you need ideas, I feel like a hot air balloon could be really fun. Skydiving could be super cool. If you have a top golf near you, that could be really fun. Now that concerts and festivals are starting to pop up, tickets to one of those with the person that you love could be really lovely or if you live in Brisbane or the Gold Coast or anywhere that has a theme park that could be a really fun thing obviously you could get like the membership that goes for like a year or something and then you can go as many times as you want with your partner or your brother or your best friend or something like that Again, super fun. Another kind of more like sentimental, like special thing is a disposable camera date. I've seen a few people do these and I think they look so cute. So basically all you have to do is you buy two disposable cameras, one for you and one for your best friend or your partner or whoever you're doing this with. And then you kind of plan a day. So maybe you'll go out for breakfast and then go do something fun. Maybe go explore the city, maybe go book shopping, I don't know, to a museum. Just lots of little fun things. And you just carry around these disposable cameras all day, take a bunch of photos and then you get them developed and you have a whole little like scrapbook of your day. I also have a bunch of voucher ideas. So the first one is dinner at your favorite restaurant. Some sort of voucher for that. I think you just can't go wrong, especially boys. They love food. So this is a great option. I just recently found out that you can buy a star or at least like name them, like purchase the rights to name a star. So again, if you have someone in your life who just seems to have everything, this could be a really fun idea. You can either name a star after them or you could even name it after your like anniversary date or something like that and you get a little certificate I'll leave a couple links down below of websites where you can do this and I just think it's so cute when I asked you guys what your favorite gifts that you've ever received are a lot of people said a tattoo voucher so if you have someone in your life and you know they're planning on getting either a tattoo or more tattoos in the future getting them a voucher to do that could be a really great option if you have a guy in your life that loves his car a really thoughtful gift is get him a voucher to get his car detailed if they love their car they love their car being looked after and they probably feel like you doing that is just showing a lot of love for them because they love their car. When I asked you guys favorite gift ideas, a lot of people said this is what their boyfriend or their dad or whatever has loved the most. And the last two ideas for this whole video are both DIYs. The first thing is to bake them their favorite dessert or their favorite, I don't know, sweet treat. I did this for Liam for Valentine's Day one year. I made him cheesecake and he still talks about it. Like he loved that more than any other like physical gift that I've ever given him. And I've given him watches and nice clothes and all that 
sort of stuff and he just loved the cheesecake so this is a really really good option I think and lastly if you or your partner or best friend or something is super indecisive and whenever you hang out you just don't know what to do or where to go this is a really great option basically you just get a jar you fill it with paddle pop sticks and on each paddle pop stick you write a date idea so a few ideas might be certain cafes or restaurants that you haven't tried maybe museums or art galleries or going bowling or skating or something like that it could obviously be a huge range of ideas and every time you don't know what to do you can just pick a stick out of that jar and the jar decides for you so I think this is a really fun idea I've also done this for Liam in the past because we are both super indecisive and it's obviously just a really affordable fun DIY to do oh my goodness I feel like I've been talking for so long but those are all the ideas that I have to share with you guys today I hope you have found at least one idea for someone in your life again there will be so many links down below hopefully you can find everything you need in the description but if you do have any more questions feel free to leave a comment down below or if you have any more ideas that you think would be really good again share them in the comments so people can read through and find some more ideas as well but thank you so much for watching and for making it to the end of this video and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video very soon goodbye